Jonathan Cannons here with Pipeline of the Day, and today I'm looking at Purple Lotus. The auction house is finally now settling down into the new economic realities of the Cataclysm era, and we're starting to see how the various trade goods markets are going to play out for the next year or so. And one of the big winners, no real surprise here uh, if you've been playing the auction house for a while, is the whole category of herbs. These have always been a cornerstone of most successful players' gold-making operations, and this is truer than ever now in Cataclysm. One of my favorite winning pipelines in this category right now is Purple Lotus. And you can see why, looking at my bean counter screen, uh, I'm buying, that's these uh, yellow entries here uh, at you know, one gold, two gold, three gold. You can see the price per herb that I'm paying. And then I'm selling, that's these uh, sort of greeny blue entries. I'm selling at eight gold, nine gold, and ten gold. And uh, this is really quick turnaround. Essentially, I can buy same day and sell the same day at these kinds of wide varying prices, which is an awesome gold making opportunity. And uh, there's not much supply, really. If I show you uh, my Buy tab in Auctionator, you can see that there isn't a whole lot up for sale. Mine are right at the top of the price range here at 956 each in stacks of five, so 47 gold, 50 gold almost per stack, and then dribs and drabs at various much lower prices. Now, this is really a classic pipeline, and it shapes up to keep on performing like this, making me, what, a couple hundred gold per day uh, over and over again. So, you know, I'm selling four or five or six stacks of five a day. It doesn't sound like a lot, but at a price of 50 gold for a stack of five, that's amounting to a couple hundred gold or more every single day just on this one profit-making herb. And as far as uh, I can tell, it's this is going to keep up for the foreseeable future. And really, it takes practically no time at all uh, to do this because I have the prices, the buy and sell prices clear in my mind and then I all I have to do is just check for this item. I just come into the auctionator buy tab, I pick my tier 5 herbs group as you can see here and uh, click on purple lotus and it refreshes and shows the price and, and you know I see a few. The other thing is I, uh, I, I need to keep a stock in uh, hand all the time so that I'm able to sell when the opportunities present. You can see right now I've got uh, 17 purple lotus sitting in my bags and I try to keep you know between one and two stacks on the go all the time with an active pipeline like this so uh, very simple all I have to do is go to the buy tab buy a few at that two or three gold range like I'm doing right now that replenishes my supply and then make sure I always have some up at the uh, the target sell price that I've proven out as viable and where there are buyers and that's really as simple as it gets. Just pick up my gold the next day after I've posted these. So why is Purple Lotus performing this way and uh, resulting in such terrific profits day after day? First of all, herbs are really big gold makers in these early months of cataclysm. There's overall strong demand for herbs. It's driven mostly by the glyph market. Uh, glyphs are in high demand, uh, they're expensive to craft, and really the cheapest way for scribes to make more glyphs to sell is to make their own inks, the lower level inks as they need them, rather than uh, the other method which is to use the cataclysm zone herbs, the highest level herbs, to make um, the dark fallow ink and then trade that for the lower level inks. It's much better if you can buy the lower uh, level herbs, create your own inks, and so that means that the tier 4, 5, 6, and 7 herbs, set tier 7 for example is all the Outlands herbs, uh, tier 5 is this group with Purple Lotus, Sungrass, Arthas Tears, and so on, uh, it's much better to make those specific inks cheaper to do it that way and then craft the glyphs you need that use each tier of ink. And uh, Purple Lotus, the tier 5s make Celestial ink that gives you glyphs like uh, Crusader Strike and Ice Barrier. And then Purple Lotus is also useful for a number of potions that sell pretty well, such as Elixir of Greater Water Breathing and a few others. And so all, that all adds up to, uh, you know, not only are the Tier 5 herbs and herbs in general in great demand and selling at really good high prices, but 
there's uh, an increased demand for purple lotus on its own for these other potions used by alchemists. And, uh, you know, the, the, the reason you can often buy at lower prices is really just uh, most players don't realize how valuable herbs are at this point, so they'll do a little bit of uh, casual farming when they're leveling up. They'll run into the auction house, post their stuff at what they think is a pretty high price, that two or three gold per, uh, per herb level, and not realize they can actually sell it for ten gold a pop. So this is your opportunity. Check this one out on your server. Um, the chances are it's going to be easy gold for you. Just uh, all you have to do is watch the prices for a few days, get a feel for the range that's actually selling on Purple Lotus, and then uh, get on with it, get going, and make some gold.